for this text effect, we're going to create this layer stack effect. So just like always, we're going to go to file new, and then we're going to set it to 1280 times 720, 300 resolution, RGB color, transparent, press create. And then you want to get yourself the bucket tool, get yourself a color for the background. Left click on the screen, go to the text tool, get yourself a Y color, press OK, and then get yourself a box, type in your text. The font that I'm using is called Revolution, and I've got it on 60 pixels. You want to drag the corners back in, go to the first tool, press Ctrl A, and then you want to go to the first tool and then center your text. Then press Ctrl D. Now that I've got the text, all you gotta do is press Ctrl J to get yourself a copy of it, and you wanna hide the one underneath it. So this is the original one. You can always go back to it if you need to. You want to right click on this one and convert to smart object. So now it is a image. And then you also want to right click on it and then go to rasterize layer so we can edit it. What we're pretty much gonna do, we're gonna slice this text so it gives it this digital glitch effect. You wanna to go to the second tool, the selection tool, and then you want to select the top bit. You want to, once again, press Ctrl J, make sure you are on the copy layer. So now that we've got the main text and then we've got the cutout, what we need to do is we need to cut it out from the main image. To do that, we're gonna get ourselves the ruler. So if you press Ctrl and R to toggle it on and off. Now that you've got yourself the ruler, you want to hold Ctrl or Command if you're on a Mac and then click on the thumbnail to select it. Get yourself the guideline and then put it on the bottom. Press Ctrl D, get your selection tool, select the top bit, and then you wanna go on the main layer and then press delete. So this pretty much separates it. So now if we get rid of this by dragging it up to the top, you can see we have them separated. And pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna go on the top one, you want to hold shift and then use the left arrow key to move it slightly to the left. You wanna do this again a few more times as much as you want to. So we're gonna do it right here as well. Make sure you're on the main layer, main text layer, press Ctrl J, hold Ctrl, select your selection, get yourself the guideline, and then press Ctrl D to deselect it, left click and drag it out, and this will snap onto the guidelines, and then on the main layer, you want to press delete. Then you want to press Ctrl D to deselect it, and then move this guideline right to the top. To get rid of the guidelines, you can move them to the top, or you can press Ctrl and H to toggle it off. So we're gonna move it all the way to the top. So the bit that you've just cut out, you want to move it slightly to the right. And finally, we're gonna do it at the bottom as well. Press Ctrl J, hold Ctrl, click on the thumbnail, get yourself the guideline. Press Ctrl D, select the bottom bit that you've just created, and then delete it off the main layer. Press Ctrl D, and then finally press Ctrl and H to toggle it off. Make sure you've got your selection, and then move it slightly to wherever you want it to go. So now that you've pretty much sliced your text, you want to go to the top one, hold shift, and then click on the bottom one, and then we're going to right click on it and go to convert smart object. So now they are all together in one. Next up, once again, get yourself a copy of it. And then the one underneath, you want to right click on it, go to blending options, go to color overlay, and then in here, you want to set it to 0090 FF. And that is a nice blue color. Press OK, and then press OK again. With this one, you want to hold shift and then you want to press the left arrow and the up arrow. Once again, another copy of this one. This one's gonna go underneath it. And then you want to, once again, to the left and then up. But this time you want to turn the opacity to 60%. And for the final one, control J, put it on the bottom. And then this one is going to be slightly further down. So left and then down. And you want to set the opacity to 40% on this one. So as you can see, you have your top layer and then you have the ones underneath it. The ones underneath it, you want to group these together. So if you click on the bottom one, create yourself a group, they are now all together. So it all depends on how many layers you want. If you wanted to add more, you can add more. So all you gotta do is get yourself another copy. But this one, you want to right click on it, convert to smart object, and then you wanna go to filter, go down to blur, and then go to motion blur. You wanna set the angle on zero and then distance on 15 and then you want to press okay and then finally all you got to do is go to your top layer which is the white text and then go to filter go down to stylize go to wind 
and then set the wind on wind or blast and then press OK. And there we go. That is your text. You can customize this to have less layers or more layers if you want it to have a blur or if you just want it to be a simple layer stack like this. Mm -hmm.